Hey guys, Sheena here with Bain Home Gardens. You are in our Ollie raised bed at the moment. And I am sitting on the outside and this is one of the reasons why I was excited about this configuration for this bed. It is allowing me to sit on my handy dandy stool and I can reach in and I can almost reach all the way across from one end of the bed to the other, um, but I could just move my stool around as needed. So that's really cool. Um, if you're someone that gardens or farms and you're not completely able to do all the bending and squatting and lifting and things like that, you have to find more creative, efficient ways for you to do this thing that you love to do. And for me, one of the things is getting up off the ground a little bit it's going to be really exciting but that's for another discussion what i actually wanted to talk to you about today is planting because we are getting ready to plant in our ollie raised bed we oh let me get this out we have decided to go with root crops for this an initial planting we're going to do mostly root crops and on one section I think I may do just like the front row of two different types of Swiss chard that I have from Baker Creek. We have an orange and we have a barise. Both of those uh, grow fairly quickly. Oof, I don't know this barise Swiss chard doesn't handle frost. I don't know about this Oriole. Anyway, the thing about this bed is because of where it's at and the size and dimensions that it has, it won't be difficult to uh, throw over a frost blanket and just clamp it onto the sides. Also, <laughs> also, we could put shade cloth on, clamp it onto the sides as needed if we were in the dead of summer and we needed to add some um, shade to the beds we could even put over some of our uh, plastic that we have for the high tunnel if we were really wanting to insulate something um, in here so like they're having a raised bed does give you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to planting extending your season protection protecting your crops so not only could I use the shade cover but I could also use mosquito netting and just like I said throw it over use clamps and clamp it on the side um, you may even need to protect your crops from things like rabbits um, you may need to protect your raised bed from cats getting in and digging we have a couple of cats I think we've trained them pretty well finally it took us about a good four months to get them to where they don't go into the beds anymore that's a lot of work but um sometimes there's an influx of stray cats through the neighborhood and so when we notice that we see some strange cats come out cover the bed with and usually i'll use mosquito netting and just get it really tight and secure so we have all those different options there so i have swiss chard varieties that i think i'm going to put towards the front because the, these swiss chard leaves are so beautiful to me like gorgeous so i think i want to put a row of the orange on the uh, back portion here the back of the front so i'm gonna do two rows on the front front very front of the bed i'm thinking about doing the barista swiss chard because it's a little shorter and more compact and the oriole swiss chard is uh it can get a little bit a bit taller and then in the back, we'll just put our different root varieties that we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a section, I'm gonna do it in three sections. So uh, I'm gonna do a section of turnips. Um, we're gonna do the Heidi, Haida Benny turnip. We did it when we were a part of the CSA, when we uh, grew it and the customers really enjoyed it and then we enjoyed it too it's just a really pretty turnip it, it was reddish in color and um it had a nice flavor to me uh the leaves were kind of like that of a salad turnip but unfortunately the year that we did them the bugs really tore into them pretty bad so i'm gonna plant a few of the i only have a few left in this pack and oh 
what y'all okay these bugs um so had a Benny turnip and I'm gonna do a section of radishes Ty was asking about um, can we plant radishes so I'm gonna plant some with her in mind but also I think the rabbits can eat them too can the rabbits eat radishes no well okay well somebody can we eat them so we're gonna plant radishes and my struggle bust crop like I have never gotten a substantial harvest of this item in all of the we've been doing this since 2017 since 2017 beets what in the world like I have no idea uh, why I can't I grow beets I just I, I get so frustrated but I'm trying again this time I'm going to be doing two different types I'm doing a pelleted subeto subeto Beto and a Lutz Green Leaf Winter Keeper. So, one's from Johnny's, um, that's this one, and then the other's from uh, Southern Exposure. So, hopefully, bet I, between all of those, we will get a, a nice little harvest. And so, I'm going to go ahead and start just working on getting this planted and I'm going to try to bring you along if the video goes to the end just know I failed in what I was trying to do okay all right I'm recording and I need to call your dad. I know he's calling me right now. Hello. Yes. Pick up some snacks. Do you want um, any snacks? Um, mm, I guess for me, the biggest thing that I could want would be like um, Cheez Its, maybe? Okay. Cheez Its and some ginger ale, and maybe just some plain potato chips for Brian. Okay. All right. I was I'm I'm in the process of recording the video. I mean, it's a it's one that I'll be doing a um voiceover on or sped through, but I didn't want to stop recording. That's why I called you like this. Okay. Yeah. Well, um This is yeah. this is good. This is really good. What? The height, this height right here. It's perfect for my stool. I can just sit on it and do all my planting. Okay. All right. Bye. Oh, Daddy Gay. He was literally laying in the dirt yesterday.
don't know if you could see me actually struggling with these mosquitoes like while I was trying <laughs> while I was trying to film and they're still like trying to bite my ears and it's crazy uh horrible mosquitoes out here this year is the worst mosquito year to date that we've lived out here in the 14 years that we've been on this property it's terrible y'all terrible so I've gotten everything planted I decided to just because I was having a little bit difficult time reaching from one side to the other I decided to do a third row of green so I'm going to move back around on that front side and do that but besides that I am done I'm going to get that last row planted and then I'm going to water this in good and we wait our beets are about a 50 day um, harvest, um, I think in spring, so probably about a 75 to 80 day harvest for the, sorry, the mosquitoes literally biting my fingers, um, 75 to 85 day harvest for the fall should be, so we'll just keep an eye on that, and I'll probably sprinkle some bone meal in this bed after I start to see some germination taking place. I'll bring you along. Thanks for watching guys and me fighting the mosquitoes. I appreciate the support and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Subscribe and if you're interested in getting your own Ollie Garden raised bed, use the code BHG10 at ollygardens.com and you'll get a 10% off. Catch you on the next one. Bye.